not because they are easy, but because they are hard. If you haven't figured it out yet, let me tell you now that the more complicated that algebra gets, actually, the more practical and useful it's going to become in real life. Now, we're going to start doing problems that involve systems, two, two equations at the same time, if you would. The additional factors are going to be involved with these problems in addition to the usual five steps. System problems involve two unknowns, not just an x, but generally a y or whatever you want to call it. Now, since they have two unknowns, you're going to have to come up with two equations from the words that they give you in the actual word problem. Once you have the two equations, you're going to use either the substitution method or the addition method that we learned earlier to solve and find the x and the y. Now, in addition to being system problems, there may be subtypes. There may be uh, system mixture problems or system money problems or system rate times time equals distance problems. What makes them a system problem is that they have more than one unknown. Okay? Pay attention, boys. I'll show you how it's done. Let's try a simple one first. In this problem, they want me to find two numbers. So that reeks of system. It says find two numbers whose sum, that means they add up to 37, and whose difference, that means they subtract to 21. Okay. I'm trying to think, but nothing happens. Well, we have to start somewhere. Let's name what one of the variables is. Now we have two numbers here, so oh, yes. let's let x be one of those numbers. Every, what else is involved in the problem? Well, there's two unknowns. There's one number, and let's let the other number be y. Okay? And I cross that out because I've kind of already assimilated it. Now, I'm going to write the equation or equations. One of them is that the sum of these two numbers is 37. So, x plus y equals 37. And I'll cross that out. The other equation, I know I need two equations because I have two unknowns, is going to be that their difference, difference in first subtraction, their difference is 21. So the other equation is x minus y equals 21. Now I have two unknowns, but I have two equations. Go ahead. Make my day. Let's solve this, Jimmy. What method should I use? Well, I'm looking at them, and it looks like, since I already have opposites on the y, the y's if you would, I'm going to use the addition method. So let's add the two equations. The y's will cancel, and I'll get 2x equals 58. Let me divide both sides by 2, and x will be 29. Next. Now, I still have to find the y. I know what the x is, but I have to find the y. Remember, with the addition method or the substitution method, you take that x, put it into another one of the equations, 4x, and find the y. So here we've put it in. We'll subtract 29 from both sides to solve for y and y will be 8. So we have to answer the question. The numbers are 29 and 8. And if you think about it, 29 and 8 add up to 37, and they subtract to 21. So that's your answer. Let's try another. Suppose the sign was broken for prices, and you watch two groups go into a theater. You notice that it, the mission for four adults and two children cost one of the groups $22, and the admission for two adults and three children cost another group $16. You should be able to figure out the price of an adult ticket and the price of a children's ticket. Now, this smells, this smells like a system problem. Why? Because there are two unknowns. Note that you want to know two things, the price of an adult ticket and also the price of a children's ticket. So this is going to be a, a system problem. So let's pick one of them to be x, just one of them. 
I'll let it be the price of a child's ticket because typically I try to let it be the smaller thing if you would. Okay, so I cross that out. Now in step two, what else is involved in the problem? Well, quite obviously, the other unknown. The price of an adult's ticket. And I'll let that be y because it's different from x. Okay? And I'll cross it out. Now, I have to write the equations. I need two equations because I have two unknowns. There's one fact that four adults and two children cost $22. So I can write four adults, 4y, plus 2x, two children's, equals 22. Good thing I wrote those down in step one and step two. Don't ever skip that. And I'll cross that out. And I need one other equation because I have two unknowns. Well, look, I have another fact. Two adults and three children cost $16. So, 2y plus 3x equals 16. And there's your equations. Now, I'm going to have to solve this system. What method should I use? I see that it's not real easy to solve for one of the four variables. So I'm going to use the addition method and try and create opposites by doing some multiplication. I'm going to multiply the bottom equation by negative 2 so that the y's will cancel. Do you see that if I do that, I'll have a negative 4y. And of course I'll have to multiply everybody else by negative 2 as well. So now I'll use the new equation and add those two. Adding these two, the y's drop out, and I get negative 4x equals negative 10. Scares me a little bit because it's negative, but I think that's going to change. Because I'll divide both sides by negative 4, and negative 10 divided by negative 4 is 2 and a half, or 2.5. So I know what x is. Next. Oh, but I have to find out what y is. So I take that x substitute it back into either one of the other two equations. Either one. Some people like to do both to make sure it's correct. And I'll get 4y plus 5 equals 22. Subtract 5 from both sides to get y alone. And then divide by 4. Now this is really getting practical and real lifelike because it's not going to come out even. 17 divided by 4 is 425. So, if we answer the question, we've got to remember what is x and what is y. Good thing we wrote that down earlier. Is that your final answer? The children's ticket, x, is two, not 2.5, but let's be practical here, $2.50. Genius! That's what and the adult's genius. ticket is $4.25. And I want to go to that theater. That's a nice cheap theater. That's the way it used to be. Okay, there's your answer. I hope you remember, as I told you before, the more complicated these problems get, the more realistic and useful they become. This problem is one of those of the system types, but it has a subtype. It's a mixture subtype system problem. Let's take a look. Nurse Mary needs 10 liters of a 20% IV solution. Okay, this happens all the time. She goes to the closet and she doesn't have any 20% IV solution. She only has some 5% solution and some 25% solution. So she needs to mix them in the right fashion, some of the 5% solution and some of the 25% solution, so that she can get exactly 10 liters of a 20% solution. That's what the patient needs. She has to mix it up. So how much of each 5% and 25% solution should she mix? Well first let's name what X is. Always got to start off that way. I'm going to let X be how much of the 5% solution because it wants to know two answers. I'll just pick one of them. And that means Y will be the other question. Y will be how much of the 25% solution. Okay, so I've got that covered, what X and Y are. 
let me cross that out how much of each because this problem is loaded with information now I've got to come up with two equations here because I have two unknowns the first one involves the 10 liters she's gonna mix X with Y and she's got to get 10 so may not be obvious but X plus Y must equal 10 that's a very common uh, first type of uh, equation in, in a mixture problem like this. Okay? And I'll cross it out. The other problem, the, the other equation, data. I need a second one, hey, that's just crazy enough to is going to be the standard mixture uh, type of equation. And that was amount one times type one plus amount two times type two equals amount plus amount times new type. Remember that? With all due respect, sir, I believe this is going to be our finest hour. And I think we can do it. This means, in this case, amount one, which is X, good thing I wrote that down, times its type, 5%, plus amount two, which is Y, times its type, which is 25%, equals amount plus amount, X plus Y, times the new type that we're trying to form, 20%. And there's your other equation. Now let's try and solve this system. Yoink. Well, let's see. Now I use my weapon. Okay, I think the first equation is easier, if you would, to solve for either letter, x or y. So I'm going to solve for y and use the substitution method. I solve this for y by subtracting x from both sides and I get y is 10 minus x. Now take that 10 minus x, substitute it into the other equation instead of y. And that's what I'll get. Now I have an equation what looks like a nightmare, but at least it only has x's in it. Let me distribute and add, etc., and simplify. Well, in this part of the equation, I've got a negative x and a positive x, and they'll cancel out, so that'll just be 10. This part of the equation, I'll distribute the 25%. I'll do 0.25 times 10 and 0.25 times x. Okay, a little bit at a time now. Let's put these two together, uh, which is a 0.05x and a negative 0.25x. They're like terms and they become a negative 0.20x. Now, I'll multiply this, get 2.5, and let's solve for x. Subtracting 2.5 from both sides, I get negative 0.2x equals negative 0.5. All I have to do now is divide by po negative 0.2, and x is going to be 2.5. Now that I know x, don't forget about y. We're going to have to plug that x in to either equation. I know which one you'll pick, the first one, it's much easier, and find y. Subtracting 2.5 from both sides, y is 7.5. So the answer is very important, you have the right units here. The answer is 2.5 and seven and a half. Mary will need two and a half liters of the five percent solution and seven and a half liters of the twenty-five percent solution. And note that they'll add up to ten liters. She'll be in heaven. Make sure you don't mix them up. If you put two and a half of the wrong type of solution, you may kill the patient. This is very important with dosages. That's it, man. Game over, man. Game over. Okay, go try it. Go try the homework.